Hey guys, it's Haley Pomeroy, and I'm here to talk about your metabolism. There are a lot of different things that you can do to enhance your metabolism, but always remember it's the micronutrients, the tiny little things that you get from processing your food efficiently that actually make all of your metabolic pathways be effective. One thing I'd like to talk about today is your enzymes, the things that you produce in your body that help break down foods to tiny little particles so that they can actually do the magic. You know, enzymes are also super important for your body realizing the effects of hormones, stabilizing the blood sugar, reducing inflammation, and food allergies. But how do you know that the enzymes you're taking are even effective? So this is my little science geek moment. I want to take this time to show you a little test that I do to see if enzymes are effective. So you're going to need a couple things. I use two glass jars, two packets of instant steel cut oats, and a really high quality digestive enzyme. Of course, I grabbed a metabolism enzyme. So this is a really simple experiment, but it shows or gives an indication of what enzymes can do in your body. So we're going to take a packet of the oatmeal. We're going to pour each one into a glass. And usually when you make steel cut oats, you want to put about, you know, as much boiling hot water as you do in the oats, about a one to one ratio. And we're going to do this, try not to make too much of a mess. And I'm going to pour hot water in here. I'm going to eyeball it a little bit because I'm, as you guys know, an ish girl, but we can get this. It's about even here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl this around and it takes about somewhere between three to five minutes. I wanna have this oatmeal get nice and solid and then cool off at least to what we would think as body temperature, about 98.6. And as you see, I'm just gonna mix these up. I'm basically making instant oatmeal right here in front of you and you'll see that this powder plus this boiling hot water is going to turn into a semi-solid that we call oatmeal. So give me about three to five minutes and just wait until you see my completed oatmeal. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so it actually took me about 10 minutes to get this to cool off to about room temperature. And I wanna show you a chemical reaction. The oatmeal is now solid. See that? Look inside of there. So what happens when we eat food, when we bring food into our body is that we start to digest the food. The very act of smelling the food, we start to produce digestive enzymes in the salivary gland, in the pancreas, as low as in the small intestine. It begins just from the very first interaction we have with food. One of the things that studies and research is showing us though, is that not properly digesting food can create all kinds of immune responses, things like food allergies, inflammation, Depression is even linked to not being able to properly digest foods, especially carbohydrates. We're finding women that can't metabolize carbohydrates efficiently. When you notice you have weight gain with it or you have a difficult time breaking down fats when you combine carbs and fats together, your body, like in phase three, individuals that have a hard time in phase three, it shows that your body's having a hard time breaking those down and it's the enzymes that actually turn on the magic to the metabolism. So one thing that I do is I wanna show you a little science experiment. I wanna take this solid oatmeal, right? They're both solid, but one of them, I'm gonna actually add one of our metabolism enzymes to. Usually when I do a high carbohydrate meal, I use two enzymes. It really helps break down that complex sugar and allows the release of micronutrients. So you'll see, I'm putting those in there. There's one and two. And the enzymes are nutrient complexes. You can see that, I've got that loaded in there. And believe it or not, the enzymes are already starting to take effect. And it'll be maybe about a minute and you'll see a totally different chemical reaction. So when you, if you wanna enhance enzymes in your digestion naturally, there are certain plants, foods, that have high bromelain papain, like pineapple is a great one, papaya is a great one, definitely herbs and spices, especially if you can use them in a raw form. So maybe put a little raw cilantro, a little peppermint, a little basil in your salad. Let's see here. Problem is I needed a spoon. 
I got a spoon. Okay, I was trying to stir this around and I was noticing that I was putting all the powder back into my face. So I'm gonna stir the enzyme into the oatmeal. It was just sitting right on the side of my jar and it wasn't going in. I'm gonna fold it into the oatmeal and that's it. I'm gonna let it take effect. And what you'll notice starting to happen is that the enzymes begin to digest the sugars, the complex carbs in this oatmeal and you'll notice that it puts it in a state, here it goes, it's already starting to happen. You'll notice that this oatmeal is going to become very, very liquid very, very quickly. So this is the oatmeal without enzymes, and this is the oatmeal with enzymes. And that was 30 seconds. The enzymes are starting to break down the micronutrients to make them more bioavailable in the body. This is so important with individuals that have food allergies or weight loss resistance because the enzymes can be really helpful in supporting insulin, the delivery of sugars appropriately into the cell, as well as making sure that macro molecules, large particles of food, don't make it down into the GI tract where they're absorbed where they shouldn't be, creating an immune complex and stimulating things like allergies for, to foods, but also lots of inflammation, elevated CRP, cardiovascular risk, diabetes risks as well. So as you look, this is getting more and more soupy. The enzymes are working right before our eyes. So make sure if you're going to invest in a digestive enzyme, that it's something that can actually help support a reaction in the body, that it's something that can help improve your health, and remember that enzymes help activate all of your hormones. They can affect things like mood, depression, allergies, inflammation, but they have to actually work. So this is without enzymes, and again, this is with metabolism enzymes. I love food science. I love what's going on in your body, and always make sure you're checking us out for more things that have to do with your metabolism.